Hi Peaches. Welcome to this month's 730 hours. Jamie's laughing at me because I'm being a child because I'm going to the dentist and I'm really sad about it. <laughs> We've just come up from some work in Brighton. I have never had dental work. I've only ever had dental checkups, but for the first time in my 28 years of existence, I need not just one filling, but two in the same area, thankfully, but I'm terrified of needles and I don't like the dentist. So it's all a big, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I am done at the dentist. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I can't smile right now. Oh, it's made the whole thing kind of worth it. This is me fully smiling. Are you ready? Do you smile? Ready? <laughs> Hi, cuties. Feeling so much better now that the dentist is done. I have full use of my mouth again. It's now the end of the week. I spent some time going to see some family and friends. Hi, kitties. They've just woken up and they're like, why are you in the front room? I don't understand. We normally cuddle in bed. <laughs> But I've come here because I have an MUA coming to see me in about 10 minutes because we are going to the Brits tonight. Honestly, I cannot believe the opportunities that this job provides. A lot in part to you, so thank you very much. I have no idea what to expect. I love music. I've been following the Brits for a long time, so I don't know. It's very exciting, but also absolutely terrifying. And of course, I'll bring you to as much as I can, but there is a lot that we're not allowed to film. I was a little bit funny about what to do with hair. Um, but I've been asked for hair in and I was like, I don't know. The only thing I know to do is to make it curly. I am, however, re-wearing the lenga that I wore to the LGBT plus awards and Jamie's re-wearing his suit as well. One, because that outfit just encapsulates to me so perfectly trans and Asian representation, which are two things that I just love to promote as much as I can. It promotes the wrong word, but you know, represent in a positive light. Also because we both wanted to re-wear something that we've already worn before. There's so much stigma and so much pressure to constantly get new things, which I just think is really silly because if an outfit is so beautiful, why only wear it once? You know, <laughs> that's the plan today. I'll show you Apollo, he's been really cute. Got some hair and makeup done too. <laughs> and look at that outfit, wow. Whee, I'm dressed. Oh my goodness, it feels so good to be in a lingo again. I'm loving these curls. I'm hoping they stay. <laughs> we just need them until five and then they can fall out. Oh my goodness, the Brits was amazing. It was such a scary experience in some ways, but super fun in others. We walked a red carpet in a way that we haven't walked red carpet before. There was a very mortifying experience actually that um, I will share with you at some point to do with an interview that I hope just doesn't go anywhere really. But apart from that, we're all good. <laughs> I also loved how much diversity there was in terms of people of colour and some great trans rep across all of award season recently, which has been so beautiful to see. The Brits have been called out for having no uh, women. Was it in best song of the year category? The top songs this year, I think only 12% were from women. They made a very, you know, good statement, in my opinion, that said, reflecting on these numbers, there wasn't a lot of choice. And this speaks to a wider issue that we need to fix in the music industry, which I totally agree. I also had no idea just how many people who weren't on the performing list would also be there. And it was just so funny, like, to see people like Shania Twain just randomly pop up. And Stanley Tucci, of all people, I have to say, Stanley Tucci, Nicolas Cage, and Louis Theroux. I don't know why. <laughs> this holy trinity triangle of iconic white men that I just seem to really enjoy i don't find any of them particularly like sexy or cute i just i just think they're all super cool anyway back to a week of work later on this weekend is jamie's birthday that's what we're leading up to we've got a little trip planned so i'll let you join us for all that my gorgeous birthday man happy birthday make a wish <laughs> Jamie, cats, Lego, zombies. Good end to your birthday? Yeah. Hi, cutie pies. It is pancake day. This is my first pancake. Look, first pancakes always don't go very well. This first pancake is no exception. It's okay. We'll get better with time. Oh, God. That's a really bad first pancake. I blame the oil. The thing he said to use oil instead of butter, I'm going to use butter from now on. We're going to be fine. Yes, yeah, so a lot of big changes have been happening. A lot of decisions, a lot of moves. It's me pretending to be on a chessboard. Tomorrow, it will stop for a little bit. Last year, I went on the Pride boat 
party from lastminute.com. I answered a question, won a little envelope, and won a gift voucher to go on a holiday with lastminute.com. So Jamie and I decided to put that towards all holiday to Monaco. We're going away tomorrow for a couple of days. It's not going to be like a very exciting holiday. I've hardly planned it. It's just going to be a really good, cute break and a chance to chill out with one another. That's the plan. All right, back to, back to my terrible pancake. Oh, it was a two-hander. You did it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so smooth. I didn't even notice. It's because you put it, you put it in a deep pan so you don't see the flip. Oh, cute. It looks great. Ready? Hey! Well done. <laughs> For a split second, I thought that had been disastrous. Ta-da! <laughs> Guess who's is who's. This place is so fancy. I feel like we're walking around a, like the Disney castle. Everything is like white and regal and corners. It's very pretty. Kind of gothic. I dig it. Oh, wow. Oh my God. 15 year old Emo Shamba would have died for this. So pretty, I cannot deal. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. This looks so good. I've gone for a pumpkin risotto. Jimmy has a bolognese. We are actually pushing the boat out. Look at this, not pizza. <laughs> a little hotel room date night. Do you know, Monaco is like a tiny. It fits into Hyde Park in London. It's the second smallest country in the world, but one of the wealthiest. And apparently over a third of the residents here are millionaires. La la, fancy okay. Jamie. Yes, you look gorgeous. So we have just come from a gorgeous day in Monaco. We started the day with a lime, which was very, very needed. Then when shopping, I bought myself this gorgeous little top because we need to get Jamie some shoes. He only bought trainers and um, going to the Monte Carlo Casino. You're not allowed trainers in there. But then we went to the Oceanic Museum because the first Prince Albert of Monaco basically invented oceanography. It was so cool to see the boat that he went on the collections of things that he's created there was like a bunch of taxidermy animals which was a little bit sad in some ways but also important for research because it ultimately protects the seas but i had no idea for example how big a sea lion was or how shark skin felt um which is really interesting and there were so many jellyfish and i love jellyfish so much it was great it was great and boy oh boy is monaco hilly i feel like we've had a gym workout for yeah. um, <laughs> from the walks up and down the levels alone because it is like built on two sides of like a cliff front. We're going to the casino and um, we're going to try and get in. I say that everyone's allowed in but you have to be dressed fancy enough. I think this might do it. We'll see. But yeah, that's the plan. Then we're gonna come back, go to spa, that's chill. And that is the end to our rejuvenation really. Tomorrow we leave to get back on the plane. It was a very, very quick trip. Very grateful to last minute though. I have to say like huge shout out. This hotel is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they surprise upgraded us to a junior suite. So the place is like massive, but such a good deal. And it all ran very smoothly. So yeah, I, I just like it when holidays fall into place. You don't have to think about them too much. Spot shopping tomorrow, back to the plane, back to the reality that is all like higgledy piggledy at the moment. There's so much going on in personal life, I should say, not really things I can share too much. Not that you would be interested in hearing them. I feel like life is very much like that. There are times where it goes very, very slow and times where it really picks up and you're like whoa whoa calm down nelly and we're in a calm down nelly phase for sure <laughs> all right let's go pretend to know how to use a slot machine <laughs> i guess mama shaba hat also needs to come on this is the first time we're properly going to a casino to do anything and we're literally just taking like 20 euros with us and we will not spend a penny more so please if you're looking at this and thinking oh you know what i might want to go to monte carlo too or you know any any kind of casino just be sensible it's super important to be sensible and on that let's go I have never seen a Rolex clock before. <laughs> wow, this view. We are going in this jacuzzi. Oh, look at the moon. Jamie, this is so adorable. <laughs> I cannot believe we are in Monaco right now.
banana reunited <laughs> And we're back in the UK and look how sunny it is. Oh my goodness. We are traveling to go and see my dad at the moment because it was his 60th birthday this week. So we're going to go have dim sum in celebration. See this massive box here. I stuck a bow on it because it was significantly too big. I couldn't deal with the environmental waste of wrapping the whole thing up. I designed this like canvas. I hope he's gonna love it. I don't really know. I've never done like sentimental gifts before. I know that I would appreciate it, but I've not given something like this to him before. So we'll see. You know what dads are like. <laughs> I think this wheel that I built is the best part. <laughs> Hi cutie patooties, welcome to a vlog piece. I don't know what vlog this is going in. Right now, today is the 9th of March. Happy International Women's Day for yesterday. Am I gonna do a March vlog properly? Maybe it's gonna go over two and then 7.30 hours and really 7.30 hours, but 14. 160 hours but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the point is we're here i want to show you something magical today jamie and i are going to the screen premiere prawn leave it be please thank you sir <laughs> and i have just learned how to use a streamer streamer a steamer for the first time look at how beautifully unwrinkled my top is this is magical i will steam everything if i can if you need something steamed send it to me i will happily Oblige. So today we're heading down to London to uh, do a couple meeting bits. Go to this gorgeous restaurant called Cricket in London, um, which we went for like just a veggie meal. They do meat stuff too, but we only or we ordered everything from the veggie platter. It's like the best sharing Indian food I've ever had in the UK. So good. Then we're gonna do the screen premiere, and then we're heading to Brighton because Mama Shaba is getting a tattoo, a big tattoo. -y. I'm very excited. It's gonna be great. Things are a little bit stressful right now, but I'm feeling really positive today. So I'm all video ready. We're gonna go film some videos. We're gonna head to London. We're gonna head to Brighton. It's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be gorgeous. It's gonna be magical. Let's go. Well, this is adorable or oh, terrifying. <laughs> Up now before I go for my tattoo. I'm very nervous. I'm voluntarily doing this. I am paying for this. This is my choice. I just have a needle phobia, but I love tattoos. So, shoulder, this is the last time you're going to be naked. <gasps> oh, no, I don't want it covering this. No, no, it won't. She won't do that. No, maybe it will, but I love this guy. Maybe I put it here. No. <gasps> That's a very last minute decision. Okay, I'm ready. We've had the leaves freestyled on. It's going to be gorgeous. We're about halfway through. It's owie, but it's worth it. Did it. I've got my gorgeous tattoo. I'm in love. My bra strap is hurting a little bit. We just went out to have some dinner with friends. It was very adorable. I need an early night. Honestly, I need to sleep. Got such a busy couple days. All will be revealed in due course. But right now, <laughs> I'm happy. You are thoroughly messing up my timing here, sir. I'm checking it's not moldy. Are we okay? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus. Sorry, I seem to like feel that. Stop! I cleaned this earlier. <laughs> You're gonna help me with that bolo. He's got his eyes on it. I see you. Oh, Jamie. Oh, Jamie has released his gorgeous thick. He's cute. He's doing well. One night of sales, baby. One day and see, it's been received very well. He's been very nervous. But what are you? You're number one right now in movers and shakers. You're number five in someone else. What new release? Hot new releases, yeah, it is a number 69, 69, and it all works. Come on, that's pretty cool. Morning, morning, cutie patooties, how are we doing? Today is the, Jamie, what day is it? Tuesday, the 14th of March. Look at me knowing the date. That is, that is true adulting. We're here in London um, because we are doing a shoot. It's been a little while since we've done a shoot. They're definitely less frequent since post-COVID. We are working with Cluedo, hashtag ad, because this isn't paid, but we are working with them on paid promotion. I'm so freaking excited. It's the most wonderful thing. I'm grateful to say that it's like most of what we do now, we get to choose the campaigns that are very exciting for us and that we love. I'm a total geek. Board games are my life. Like <laughs> if I could do a clubbing night or a board game night, it would be a board game night. If it was a board game night versus a house party, it would be a board game night. It's just always a board game night. Cluedo is such a classic and it's just so cool to be able to work with them. And today, Jamie and I are um, taking part in a shoot where we are becoming Cluedo inspired characters. We had a good shoot, didn't we? Very good. good I like plan. how you're so glad and I just look the same. I had to, I've got jogging bottoms on and this top and I've been walking around London like this to get back home, but you know, it needs must. <laughs> we also got some really good personal news. 
super exciting. Everything's feeling good. I'm passing good vibes to you, my loves, because good vibes are being felt. 30 pins were in my head, now it is a mess. I need a good head massage. I love that after you've had your hair up. Just like a, oh, feels so good. Mm, cat, step on my head. Mm. Hello.